What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? Have you ever accidentally drunk seawater? You have. Salty, isn't it? Do you know why it's salty? You don't? Well, let me tell you a story about it. Once upon a very long time ago, there lived a girl and she lived with her old grandmother in a house by the sea. One day she approached her grandmother as she was sitting in her rocking chair. Grandmother? Yes, dear. I'd like to leave home and seek my fortune. Oh, that's nice, dear, said her grandmother. And she opened an old chest that she kept under her bed. Then I should give you this, she said. And she brought out a coffee mill. Have you ever seen one of these? It's for grinding up coffee beans. You put the coffee beans in the top, like that. And then you turn the handle like that. And you get ground coffee coming out the bottom. But I don't like coffee, said the girl. Oh, this isn't any old coffee mill, said her grandmother, as she put the coffee mill down on the table. And then she spoke some magic words. Magic mill, magic mill, make me some bread. The mill started grinding. All by itself. And suddenly, there, out of nowhere, appeared a lovely loaf of bread. It smelled delicious. Then Grandmother said, Magic Mill, Magic Mill, make me no more. And the mill stopped grinding. Wow, said the girl. I know, <laughs> said Grandmother. With this Magic Mill you'll never go hungry. You can ask it to make whatever you like. Just remember, you have to ask it to stop or it'll keep on grinding. So the next morning the girl left home with the magic mill in her backpack. She soon found herself down at the harbour, where luckily there was a ship just about to set sail for distant lands. She approached the captain. Excuse me, said the girl. Is there any work on board your ship? Hmm, said the captain. Hmm, well, just so happens I was looking for a new cabin boy. I suppose a cabin girl will do just as well. Why don't you come on board then? So off they sailed. And the girl worked hard all day, scrubbing the deck, carrying messages, climbing the rigging and standing watch. In the evening, she'd sit eating dinner with the other sailors. One night she pulled out the magic mill. Watch this, she said. Magic mill. Magic Mill, make me some soup. And the Magic Mill started to grind. And there was a lovely bowl of soup. Well, the sailors were all amazed. They all asked if they could have some soup too. So the girl didn't ask the mill to stop. She let it carry on making bowl after bowl after bowl. When every sailor had a bowl of soup, the girl said, Magic Mill, Magic Mill, make me no more. And the mill stopped grinding. One sailor asked, Can it make anything? Oh, yes, said the girl. Make some suggestions. <gasps> well, the sailors started shouting out things like, uh, Beef stew, uh, chocolate cake, uh, curry, uh, Yorkshire pudding. And whatever they asked for, the magic mill made it. Now it just so happened that the captain had heard all the commotion and was listening behind the door. The captain was a greedy man. I want that magic mill all for myself, he thought. Now how do I get my hands on it? And he left, while all the sailors were still shouting out their suggestions. Way the next morning the captain approached the girl while she was on the deck. Can I see your magic mill? he asked. And the girl said, yes, of course. She was very trusting. And she pulled the magic mill out of her backpack. And just then the captain grabbed the mill off her and pushed the girl over the rail into the sea. 
Smiling, the captain took the magic mill back to his cabin where his morning porridge was waiting, and he liked to eat really salty porridge. Now, the night before, he'd heard the magic words to get the mill to start grinding. Magic mill, magic mill, make me some salt. And the magic mill started to grind. The captain was amazed to see the mill creating salt out of nothing. Unfortunately, the captain had left before hearing the words to make the magic mill stop. The mill made more and more salt. Stop, you useless thing, shouted the captain, but they weren't the magic words. Cut it out, will you, shouted the captain, but they weren't the magic words. Enough already, shouted the captain, but they weren't the magic words. Help me, he shouted. But were they the magic words? No, they were not. The mill made more and more salt. Soon the whole cabin was full of salt. It burst through the cabin door. Soon, salt filled up the whole deck, and sailors all screamed, Aah! and jumped over the side into the sea, and soon the ship was so full of salt that it sank beneath the waves, taking the magic mill with it. It's there still, grinding away at the bottom of the sea, filling all the oceans of the world with salt. And that's why the sea is salty. Oh, and if you're wondering about the poor girl who was pushed overboard, she was fine. She made it home to her grandmother, but she vowed never to go to sea ever, ever again. The end. Bye.